uh, particularly the in International Day to protect um, education from attack was commemorated a few days ago, and that's perhaps a good place to start. Uh, the concern usually before now has been terror attacks and abduction in our schools, but I'm sure you also followed the recent killing of a 200-level four-year student. Uh, that seems to have expanded the insecurity challenges bedeviling our schools. How is your ministry responding to this? Well, we are very sad about it because um, our students, are, our schools are places for learning. And uh, we, are, we have a situation where students are not sure of um, their safety and their security and all those who are working there. It is certainly a cause for concern. And uh, so we are working with the security agencies and the administrations of uh, those institutions to ensure that uh, our institutions remain safe for, and uh, for learning, not a place for, for terror and fear of terror. And uh, you remember some two weeks ago, the NSA had actually even issued a statement to this effect, directing security agencies to ensure uh, the safety of schools. So we are working with security agencies and also ensure that uh, uh, the physical situation of universities is also protected. So we are also looking at a situation where uh, schools and uh, universities are fenced. And then uh, university administrators and uh, heads of other institutions also look into uh, some of the social vices which uh, foster this kind of thing in the university, like cultism, for instance, is one of the things which breed uh, insecurity um, amongst students. So, uh, so we are looking at, at a whole range of things to ensure that uh, uh, people remain safe uh, in their institutions and uh, places of learning. I hear you. 